Good morning everyone. Uh, we're in Xingqing Park in the middle of Xi'an today. If you do come to China, you've got to come to a park, of course, and there is no time to come like early in the morning. <laughs> Chinese park band. Never seen anything like that before. That was amazing. Like everybody was singing along and knew all the words. I was just kind of uh, trying to trying to join in somehow. <laughs> Parks in China are kind of famous for being full of the weird and wonderful. It's actually hard to find a quiet spot in a park in China. You know, parks in maybe England are usually pretty quiet, peaceful places. They're full of life here. So like everyone's out, especially like kind of the, uh, I guess the 50s and over retired people. Um, just come here and do every possible thing you could ever imagine. It's pretty amazing actually. I guess the most common things people do here are obviously your martial arts, so different types of Kung Fu and uh, Tai Chi, Tai Chi Chuan. So I used to live really near this park um, when I first moved to, to Xi'an. It was about 2008, 2007, something like that. And I used to come here every morning and learn Tai Chi from an, uh, an old fella. And that was before I could really speak any Chinese at all. I'm sure a lot of it was lost in translation. Um, I should try again now. I can actually kind of understand what the hell's going on. So it's a cold December morning today. It's about three degrees. Um, doesn't deter people. Everyone's out. They come here every single day. Um, this park's actually pretty famous, not just in Xi'an, but actually in all of China, for the amount of people that actually come here doing every possible thing you can imagine. But well, if you think this is a lot of weird stuff in one video, um, I've only been here about 20 minutes. If you just walk around, the amount of stuff you see is unreal. There's a lot of weird, uh, not weird, that's the wrong word. Just different things that people do in parks that you, know, you don't really see in other countries, I think. Um, a lot of them relate to health and fitness, like uh, a lot of like, kind of breathing exercises and things. So I just saw this young girl, she's about six years old, um, with a teacher, might be in a mum, I don't really know, um, doing a Tai Chi Chen style Tai Chi sword form absolutely amazing she's i mean everyone in this park is honestly i'm i'm young in this park to be honest and there's this little girl and i don't know she obviously comes here every day amazing she had a crowd around her um when she was doing her form really spectacular <laughs> You don't see a lot of kids in, uh, in China doing things like that now either. So it's pretty nice to actually uh, get to witness something like that. So I've seen some pretty amazing stuff in this park today. This guy behind me, not one of them. It sounds pretty rough. Honestly, finding a quiet spot to um, actually get to talk to the camera is so difficult in this place. Everywhere you look, there's just stuff going on. Music, noise, it's a... Uh, Pretty special. <laughs> I'm 
such a positive vibe here. Um, I just met this old lady and she was like, she taught me, <laughs> she taught me how to do, um, I can't remember what she did, it was called, it was like, basically it's like swinging these ropes around and she dances while she does it. Um, I'm not going to show you me doing it because, to be honest, I was completely rubbish at it. But just lovely people, everyone's so happy and positive, it makes you feel good. There's a big uh, Islamic vibe in a lot of the music and dance that you'll see. Um, it's because in Xi'an there is a, a, a pretty large Muslim population um, and has been for hundreds of years to be honest so uh, yeah a lot of the dancing is, is pretty cool It's a very old park, uh, Xingqing Park. It used to be a, it was the site of a, like a Tang Dynasty palace. Um, and it's a, actually, the park itself is a little bit like kind of dilapidated. It's not really looked after very well, but it's it's like the most popular place for people to come and exercise and dance and sing and every other possible thing there is to do. Uh, so parks here are so much different to um, you know back in England. I mean, parks in England are obviously a uh, place to get away from the city and noise and they're grassy and you can kind of hang out and do what you want there I think and just have a picnic or kick a ball out or just be away from people um, here you know it's already the big city it's not really a getaway to be honest because it's still so busy and so noisy um, but the way they set out parks in China they are they're like almost designed to have all these open spaces so that people can do activities because that's what people want to do you know they you know people live in I guess relatively small apartments and don't really have their own garden usually. So therefore having these having these spaces to come in, you know, whether it's dancing or, or martial arts or whatever it is you do, they are quite important. Um, and it's used to the max, you know. I, I think uh, every every inch of this park is just taken up with people, you know, it's um it's nice. Yeah, it's 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 a weird thing. I think a lot of people would look at it and just think it's noisy and kind of messy maybe i don't know i like it i think um i think it's good that people can get out and and do things and it's it's people of all ages you know i mean i've seen some some guys doing tai chi who look to be honest well in their 80s um fit as hell it's great it's a nice thing look i want to call it a day there i think uh i've been outdone by the tai chi guys because my hands are like ice i hope you enjoyed the video uh, please subscribe and hit the bell and uh, more videos on the way as always thanks a lot bye bye